Hi guys, my name is Michael Mordensen. Today is December 14th, uh, 2019. I wanted to make a short video about uh, something that creates a little bit of confusion uh, for guys who are talking to uh, Ukrainian ladies who are using our services. Mm, uh, and uh, it's about holidays. Uh, in Ukraine, uh, just like for example in the United States or most of the uh, other Western countries, uh, in winter there are two major holidays, Christmas uh, and uh, New Year's. Uh, but unlike United States, uh, Christmas in Ukraine uh, is not the main holiday of the winter uh, season and generally of the year. And uh, it has very uh, interesting consequences. For example, in Ukraine, people call uh, the tree that you have at home and that you decorate, uh, is, it's called in Ukraine, it's called New Year's tree. It's not called Christmas tree, it's called New Year's tree. And uh, this period of time when people have uh, days off work and uh, s stuff like that. It's not called Christmas holidays. It's called New Year's holidays and um, Generally uh, Ukrainian uh, people and people from most of the countries of the former Soviet Union They place a lot more importance to the new year and now I would like in this video I would like to explain why uh, it's uh, actually a uh, very simple explanation, but it makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's somewhat tragic, uh, as many things in the history of Ukraine. Uh, when the Bolsheviks, when the communists uh, came to power uh, in 1917, uh, they uh, wanted to um, change the fabric of uh, this country. Uh, of course, uh, Ukraine did not become part of the Soviet Union until 1922, uh, nevertheless, uh, it's, uh, this process uh, inevitably uh, touched Ukraine. Uh, basically, communist uh, leaders uh, wanted to erase everything that had to do with religion from the uh, mind of the people. And uh, so they started uh, by uh, such things as uh, holidays. Um, and uh, so they had, but they had to replace, you know, if, if, if people are used to having a big holiday and exchanging presents uh, in winter, uh, they had to have uh, something else. And so they offered uh, the New Year's uh, or Sylvester, as uh, some people call it, as an alternative to uh, big Christmas. And Christmas was becoming less and less popular uh, and uh, for, for especially in the first years it was uh, due to fear uh, because just by uh, because you were going to church or uh, if you were openly religious person you could get into serious trouble and in the time of Stalin and Gulag uh, this was a life-threatening situation and of course uh, if you were a young person uh, you could lose a job you could be expelled from the university if they found out that you went to church or if you uh, uh, if you went to synagogue and stuff like that they wanted uh, the communists wanted to eradicate everything that had to do with uh, faith uh, because they did not believe uh, that a person uh, needs uh, to have anything else but uh, the communist leaders and communist party um, to to guide uh, this person's life. So, as we all know, the communist ideas uh, were short-lived and and uh, they're all gone. Um, but uh, unfortunately. Uh, so are so many people who did not share the communist ideas and uh, who unfortunately lost their life and lost their health. Uh, so, but just coming back to this topic, 
uh, now you I say I hope you understand now why uh, people here uh, call this holidays and New Year's holidays and New Year's tree and all this stuff that's it comes from this period of time when it was forced uh, upon people by by the government uh, it's changing and uh, now fortunately for the past uh, since 1991 uh, when Ukraine became independent uh, in our country is, is there is freedom of uh, religion and as you can see I'm wearing a kippah so uh, Jewish people can freely go to uh, synagogues and uh, Christian people can go to churches and celebrate but uh, 70 years of uh, terror and uh, tyranny uh, does not pass uh, overnight so uh, it's still um, it's influencing uh, the everyday life of people nowadays uh, even in ways that people don't even realize they are uh, for example uh, through the holidays uh, but uh, I guess uh, kids in Ukraine they are very lucky because they get presents uh, both for the New Year's and Christmas uh, so I hope as this video was helpful and as always if you have any questions you can always uh, reach out and ask them to me in email or comments uh, under this video uh, have a great day and good luck